God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. May all the shining seraphim praise him whom Christ sought in love, and may The fount of wisdom was his school to teach the glory of the word who with the Father ever dwells yet filled his virgin mother's womb. When dying Jesus gave to you his virgin mother as your own Make us her loving children too, and hide us in the heart of Christ. John gave testimony to the word of God. He gave witness to Jesus Christ, whom he had seen. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story and night unto night makes known the message. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span extends through all the earth, their words to the utmost bounds of the world. There he has placed a tent for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom coming from his tent, rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the sky is the rising of the sun, To the furthest end of the sky is its course. There is nothing concealed from its burning heat. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. John gave testimony to To the the word word of God. God. He He gave gave witness witness to to Jesus Christ, Christ, whom he had seen. This is the disciple whom Jesus loved. Hear my voice, O God, as I complain. Guard my life from dread of the foe. Hide me from the band of the wicked, from the throng of those who do evil. They sharpen their tongues like swords. They aim bitter words like arrows to shoot at the innocent from ambush, shooting suddenly and recklessly. They scheme their evil course. They conspire to lay secret snares. They say, who will see us? Who can search out our crimes? He will search who searches the mind and knows the depths of the heart. God has shot them with his arrow and dealt them sudden wounds. Their own tongue has brought them to ruin and all who see them mock. Then will all men fear. They will tell what God has done. They will understand God's deeds. The just will rejoice in the Lord and fly to him for refuge. All the upright hearts will glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This is the The disciple disciple whom whom Jesus Jesus loved. At the Last Supper, John reclined close to the Lord. Blessed that apostle to whom the mysteries of heaven were revealed. The Lord is king, the peoples tremble. He is throned on the cherubim, the earth quakes. The Lord is great in Zion. He is supreme over all the peoples. Let them praise his name, so terrible and great. He is holy, full of power. You are a king who loves what is right. You have established equity, justice, and right. You have established them in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before Zion, his footstool. He, the Lord, is holy. Among his priests were Aaron and Moses. Among those who invoked his name was Samuel. They invoked the Lord and he answered. To them he spoke in the pillar of cloud. They did his will, they kept the law, which he, the Lord, had given. O Lord our God, you answered them. For them you are a God who forgives. 
yet you punished all their offenses. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before his holy mountain, for the Lord our God is holy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. At the Last Supper, John, John reclined, reclined close to, to the Lord, Lord blessed that, that Apostle to whom the mysteries of heaven were revealed. They proclaimed the Lord's praises, told of his power to save. And of the wonders he had worked. From the first letter of the Apostle John, this is what we proclaim to you, what was from the beginning, what we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we have looked upon and our hands have touched. We speak of the word of life. This life became visible. We have seen and bear witness to it, and we proclaim to you the eternal life that was present to the Father and became visible to us. What we have seen and heard, we proclaim in turn to you, so that you may share life with us. This fellowship of ours is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. Indeed, our purpose in writing you this is that our joy may be complete. Here then is the message we have heard from him and announced to you, that God is light, in him there is no darkness. If we say we have fellowship with him while continuing to walk in darkness, we are liars and do not act in truth. But if we walk in light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of his son, Jesus, cleanses us from all sin. If we say we are free of the guilt of sin, we deceive ourselves. The truth is not to be found in us. But if we acknowledge our sins, he who is just can be trusted to forgive our sins and cleanse us from every wrong. If we say we have never sinned, we make him a liar and his word finds no place in us. My little ones, I am writing this to keep you from sin. But if anyone should sin, we have, in the presence of the Father, Jesus Christ, an intercessor who is just. He is an offering for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The way we can be sure of our knowledge of him is to keep his commandments. We proclaim to you the eternal life which was with the Father and has been revealed to us. We write of this that you may rejoice. And that your joy may be full. These things have been written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and believing you may have life in his name. And that your joy may be full. From the Tractates on the First Letter of John, by St. Augustine, Bishop. Our message is the word of life. We announce what existed from the beginning, what we have heard, what we have seen with our own eyes, what we have touched with our own hands. Who could touch the word with his hands unless the word was made flesh and lived among us? Now this word, whose flesh was so real that he could be touched by human hands, began to be flesh in the Virgin Mary's womb. But he did not begin to exist at that moment. We know this from what John says, what existed from the beginning. Notice how John's letter bears witness to his gospel which you just heard a moment ago. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. Someone might interpret the phrase, the Word of Life, to mean a word about Christ, rather than Christ's body itself, which was touched by human hands. 
but consider what comes next. And life itself was revealed. Christ, therefore, is himself the word of life. And how was this life revealed? It existed from the beginning, but was not revealed to men, only to angels, who looked upon it and feasted upon it as their own spiritual bread. But what does scripture say? Mankind ate the bread of angels. Life itself was therefore revealed in the flesh. In this way, what was visible to the heart alone could become visible also to the eye, and so heal men's hearts. For the word is visible to the heart alone, while flesh is visible to bodily eyes as well. We already possessed the means to see the flesh, but we had no means of seeing the word. The word was made flesh so that we could see it, to heal the part of us by which we could see the word. John continues, and we are witnesses, and we proclaim to you that eternal life which was with the Father and has been revealed among us. One might say more simply, revealed to us. We proclaim to you what we have heard and seen. Make sure that you grasp the meaning of these words. The disciples saw our Lord in the flesh, face to face. They heard the words he spoke, and in turn, they proclaimed the message to us. So we also have heard, although we have not seen, are we then less favored than those who both saw and heard? If that were so, why should John add, so that you too may have fellowship with us? They saw, and we have not seen, yet we have fellowship with them, because we and they share the same faith. And our fellowship is with God the Father and Jesus Christ his Son, and we write this to you to make your joy complete, complete in that fellowship, in that love, and in that unity. At the Last Supper, John reclined close to the Lord. Blessed that apostle to whom the mysteries of heaven were revealed. He drank from the streams of living water, which flowed from the heart of the Lord. Blessed that apostle, to whom the mysteries of heaven were revealed. You are God, we praise you. You, you are, are the Lord, Lord we, we acclaim you. You, you are, are the eternal, eternal Father, all creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not spurn the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Keep us today, Lord, from all sin. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Let us pray. God, our Father, 
you have revealed the mysteries of your word through John the Apostle. By prayer and reflection, may we come to understand the wisdom he taught. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks.